This idea for this experiment actually came from a Reddit. I made a post asking if anybody had tried out this uh, dig fertilizer injector that you can get at Home Depot. And uh, miserable window 906 made a comment just saying, just to use a funnel and attach a uh, finely adjustable nozzle on the end of it and just use gravity to feed it. So that sounded interesting and cheap as he mentioned. So I just tried to come up with something with the pieces that I had available to me. I already had some of these uh, quarter inch uh, valves for my drip line system. And I think at the time I bought them like five of them for like two bucks. We'll see if this valve works, but it's the closest thing I had to something that was adjustable. And then I just grabbed a 16 ounce uh, water bottle out of the trash and made a hole in the back so it had a breather so the water will keep flowing. And then from there I just uh, drilled a hole in the cap and then I used one of those uh, rubber top hat grommets I bought the other day and inserted it into the uh, cap. And then I just uh, clipped off like a two inch piece of quarter inch drip line and inserted the valve in there and then stuck it into the water bottle and that was it. And now we got our uh, low budget IV drip system. Is it gonna work? I don't know, we, we have to wait and see. And once I start running it over hours and then days, we'll get a better idea of uh, if it's gonna fail or work. So if anybody has any ideas on how much interval between each drip would be ideal, post it in the comments. And then from here, I just start tightening up the valve to see how it uh, affected the drip interval. And then once it looked good to me, I just let it go and then I'll uh, start measuring the uh, time between each drip. And my whole goal here would be to get this thing to drip over like three or four days or up to a week. And then I could just put in some of the master blend concentrate and just have it auto feed for the whole week. But first we just got to see if we could get it to uh, drip over a couple days or up to a week. So we'll see how that works. And if it actually worked, it'd be like a poor man's dosatron. Alright, well let's just uh, continue to uh, monitor the interval of the drips. And as we can see, the first interval was at 44 seconds. Alright, that one was 48 seconds. Let's see what the next one is. And again, this isn't too scientific right now because I'm like holding it in my hand and I got the wind blowing. So, it, as lo just as long as it's close. And as you can see, we got 52 seconds. And I want to do one more just to see uh, how consistent it is. All right, it looks like we're at a interval, an average interval of around uh, 50 seconds. So that'll be a good starting point and we'll go from there. So the idea here is just to uh, set the water bottle inside the cup. It'll sit on top of the net cup and just uh, drip into the rail slowly over time. So I just want to do one last test to measure the uh, interval here. And for the test, I have it here placed on the end of the rail, but if it actually worked, I would go, I would actually stick it in the middle of the rail so it uh, dispense the uh, nutrients more evenly. Again, I don't want to get ahead of myself, so I don't, I don't even know if this is going to work, but we're going to find out. <laughs> All right, first interval is uh, 52 seconds. And again, the whole goal here would be to uh, have a slow drip of uh, concentrated nutrients that would be delivered over a matter of days or a week. All right, second interval came in at 53 seconds. 
All right, I just want to measure uh, one last dri drip interval and then uh, we're prepared to go live. Guys, it looks like it's pretty consistent around that 53 second mark, so that's looking good. So I'm just gonna put a get some tape and put a mark on the bottle with the time and date and uh, start the experiment and see what happens. And be sure to uh, subscribe so you can check out part two and we can see the results of this. I'm gonna let it run and then I'll uh, make a part two video. And if you have any good advice or uh, pointers, put it in the comments because I'll read it and it'll help me out. All right, until next time, we'll see ya.